Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full length feature review, we'll be covering the brand new MSI GS65 Stealth. So let's go ahead and start things off with our unboxing. So as you can see, it does get double boxed, the outside plain cardboard box to protect it during shipping and keep it hidden away. Inside we have the solid black MSI box, which is also wrapped in plastic, so that would protect it from any type of water or environmental hazards. So once we get that plastic wrap off, we can get the inner box open, and of course that's where we're going to find our laptop. Now the GS65 Stealth is a super thin, super light 15.6 inch laptop, but with an ultra thin bezel, so it has a form factor more similar to a 14 inch laptop. The other side compartment has the accessories box. This is where we're going to find our power adapter. So here's the adapter cable. And then just below is going to be the actual power brick. And here is a close up of the power adapter specs. All right, now it's time to move into the actual unveiling of the laptop. So as you can see, we have the outside sleeve, then another sleeve on the inside, so it's super protected. And there's the first look. Again, nice plain aesthetics and a very thin form factor. And here we are to take measurements. We have coins for scale, so pennies and quarters, and then the tape measure to get our actual measurements. Well under an inch on the back side and also on the front, a fairly flat profile as far as how high each side is raised up. The power adapter itself also very thin, sometimes something overlooked, but in this case that's going to be just as easy to pack away as the laptop itself. Now as far as the weight on the scale, the laptop alone is at 4 pounds and 1 ounce. Now add in your power adapter and you're at five pounds and five ounces. So this is indeed for a 15.6 inch laptop, incredibly thin and light. So how does it look once we power it on? It looks amazing actually. The screen here is a 144 Hertz refresh rate. So definitely tailored for gamers who need the fast response times. The ultra thin bezel is how they made the laptop so small while still keeping the full size screen. We do have our integrated HD webcam and microphones at the top, hidden away. Now down below, we have the chiclet style keyboard, and that is a full RGB backlit keyboard. Each and every one of those keys can be independently set up through this software, and we'll show you that in a little bit. To the right hand corner, we have our little sticker badge. It tells you about some of the features you can expect in this laptop. Long battery life, we're claiming an eight hour battery life here. We have the single oversized touchpad in the center, which means the integrated left and right clicks. And we're rocking in an NVIDIA GTX 1070 GPU, as well as the new six core Coffee Lake Intel CPU. So what about our connectivity options? Let's go ahead and take a closer look and look at the interfaces on the outside perimeter. Starting with our right hand side, we have a USB 3.0 port right up front. Then the USB 3.1 Type-C, which is also the Thunderbolt port, Mini Display port, HDMI, and our power adapter port. On the back, we just have openings for the exhaust. That's going to keep the system cool. And over on the left-hand side, we have our Kensington lock port in the very back, the intake, RJ45 for local network connectivity, two more USB 3 ports, and then our two 3.5 millimeter audio connections, one for your headphone and one for your microphone. So here's one last quick look on the outside with our lid closed. And then we're going to move into our operating system. All right, here we are in the device manager. A quick look at our hardware. There's the NVIDIA GTX 1070, the killer ethernet stuff for our networking connectivity. 
the brand new Coffee Lake i7 8750H. That's a six core CPU with hyper threading. And here's the amazing monitor panel. So the resolution is 1920 by 1080. Nothing too fancy there, but what's really amazing is the fact that we have a 144 hertz refresh rate. So this particular laptop is very well optimized for gamers where the resolution is gonna give you the better frame rates and the refresh rate is gonna be able to give you the better performance. All right, the next task at hand is to go ahead and show you some of the software built into the laptop. Here we have the control center where we can change all of our RGB configurations for the backlit keys. So of course MSI has a lot more software tucked away for you than just the keyboard part. The Dragon Center is a full blown graphical interface where we can take a quick look at several system specs and do a lot of system tunables. So we can control fan speeds from here, do overclocking on the system, change your profiles for how the screen looks. Pretty much all of that can be built right into this piece of software here so it's easy to change and easy to monitor. So definitely take a quick look at this software at least once once you get your laptop because there's definitely a lot of stuff in there that you can do. So now we're about to move into our benchmarking section. Of course, a very important part of a performance laptop like this. The first thing is to get our baselines. So we're looking at uh, about 60 to 70 degrees Celsius for the baseline temperatures on our CPU. And currently right now the GPU is at 48 degrees Celsius. As far as outside temperatures, we have the infrared thermometer here with the visual representation of the current temperatures. And we can see that the front's a little bit cooler and the rear's a little bit warmer. And that makes a lot of sense. That's where all the actual components are, like your GPU and CPU, as well as the exhaust for the cooling system. So what's most important in this particular benchmark is just to keep an eye out for where the hands are going to be. Make sure there's nothing that's hot to touch because that would make for a very uncomfortable laptop. Once we fire up the benchmarks and come back to this, that'll be the true test to see how the system handles the heat. And our last baseline to capture is gonna be the noise levels. So we're using a noise meter and we're gonna see what our worst case scenario is if we monitor the volumes right next to the exhaust. So the benchmarks are now underway. Firestrike is queued up and running on the system. The first thing we're going to go back to is going to be those noise levels. With the system under load, the fans must speed up to cool the system. So we'll see how much the noise levels have gone up because of that. And we do see that one side is actually more quiet than the other. That shows a dual fan system that has independent control so that we don't have to have both fans speed up unnecessarily. Back to the visual temperatures, we can see those have gone up, and of course, where the hands are gonna go, those temperatures are still good. That's the important thing here. And we see a few new hot spots where the cooling is really taking place. The intake and the exhaust are uh, definitely hotter than the rest, and that's actually a good sign. That means that heat is definitely being gotten rid of. So with the visual marking done, the real test is gonna be going back to our internal temperature readings and seeing how well the system did during the test. 
So our benchmark has finished and fire strike came in at a score of 12,992. Back to the temperatures, our CPU got pretty toasty at upper 80s to lower 90s on the, the degrees of Celsius there. The GPU stayed really cool at 73 degrees Celsius. This is pretty much in line with what we've seen with other laptops with similar configurations. Now we do have other tests to run as well, so Cinebench R15 is up to run now. And we check in with a CPU score of 1053 Cinebench points, and of course we have our graphing down below. The next test we'll run is going to be the actual speaker system, so we'll let that speak for itself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are moving on to the final segment of the review, which is going to be the disassembly of the system. To reach inside of this particular system, you'll have to take out a lot of small screws to get the bottom cover to come off. Now, once we do have that bottom cover off, we'll have full access to the bottom half of the system here. So we see a vast majority of the real estate is immediately taken up by that large battery. And that's how they get that eight hour battery life claim. We have some speakers that are embedded to the left and right of the battery. And then up above that, we're gonna find the fans for cooling And this is a triple fan setup. So there's an extra fan in here that we don't normally see in smaller devices. So right now you're probably asking yourself, where's the RAM and the storage for the system? To get to that, we must go deeper to the other side of the motherboard. So removing some more components, we're going to go ahead and remove the motherboard and flip it over. And now with the more traditional view, you'll see we have two system RAM slots, which support up to a maximum of 32 gigabytes of RAM. And we have the M2 form factor SSD up above for our storage device. So as you can see, the only real upgrade you can do to this system and its stock configuration is add a second SSD. So it's not really worth taking it apart at this level of complexity, just to add that in. And if you really wanted it, you can always order it through the store while you actually purchase it. And we can do that work for you and keep it covered under your warranty. And so we still have one more level of disassembly for you. And that's going to be removing the heat pipe system so we can see the GPU and CPU. And now we can take that off and show you the rest of the system. So to kind of focus in and summarize, we have a six core Coffee Lake CPU, which is a tremendous powerhouse for such a small laptop. And then we have the GTX 1070, which is a middle upper ground GPU. So it's adequate for gaming. All of this is put into a super small form factor. So it's very thin, very light, easy to carry around with a long battery life and an amazing screen. So we'd like to think that MSI GS65 Stealth is a very strong competitor on the market right now if you're looking for this type of laptop. Of course, if you're interested, you can go ahead and follow the product link in the description of the video to our product page and get a lot more information there. We have the full product specs and the current pricing and availability, so go and check that out. 
So if you had any other questions the video was not able to answer for you and you'd like to know more, then feel free to ask us down below in the comment section. We'll answer your question for you and for everybody else at the same time. But do not be afraid to reach out to us for one-on-one -on -one help if you need something personal. So contact us by phone or email if you need that kind of assistance. So for everybody else, we just want to say thank you once again for watching our videos. We hope you enjoyed it. And this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.